Welcome back, everyone. I would like to thank all of you guys for the huge support to this series and channel. Today's like goal is 1,500 likes, and I know you guys will achieve it instantly. We are continuing the story of a loser Lou fan who found a mysterious egg and hatched a waifu dragon. Previously, our guy Lou Fan went to the secret realm with Little Chin and her companions, where he is single-handedly fighting super-strong zombies and then confronted the chained mommy boss zombie. If you haven't watched the previous part, the link is in the description. Now let's continue the story. The story continues from a flashback in which a happy girl is walking down the street while smiling. She was born and raised under the protection of the church, which shielded her from ongoing wars and intrusions 300 years ago. Then suddenly, one day, a plague spread and destroyed everything. There were bodies everywhere, and people were dying so fast that they couldn't be buried properly. She wanted to save everyone and prayed to the gods, but instead of becoming a priestess, she became a dark witch by some weird twist. Despite that, she tried to help people. She couldn't heal anyone, but could summon the spirit of dead people and give them a last chance to say their goodbyes to the living. To her surprise, the same church that sheltered her in the early years branded her as a witch and blamed her for the plague. They chained her and dragged her on the ground while she pleaded with them for her innocence. Eventually, they threw her in the lake and she drowned and died while questioning what she did wrong. I kind of feel bad for her now. So the moral of the story is that if you throw a kind, beautiful lady in the lake, she will come back in the mommy form one day to kill you. So be mindful of your actions, guys. We come to the present where Lu Fan is praising his dragon and little kin, Purple Head, Uncle G, and a random do who is just there to fill the space are watching them with their mouths wide open and wondering if they can now leave the secret realm. But to their surprise, the portal still hasn't appeared. Our boy Lu Fan is wondering the same thing, while looking toward the lake and thinking that the mommy boss isn't dead yet. In the next moment, a shadow appears from under the water's surface and makes a big splash. The mommy boss is in the center of the splash while screaming, Why? Why? Everyone is looking at the enraged mommy boss and taking a defensive stance. A new notification appeared and informed everyone that the mommy boss had entered phase two in which she became enraged and all her stats increased dramatically. The strength increased from 271 to 385. Agility increased from 183 to 249. Spirit increased from 150 to 435 and endurance from 266 to 399. Guess she got a major power-up. In her new form, she still looks thick. I mean menacing. She also has new attacks now, which include Lamentation Impact, which releases a curse with a low chance of instant death or inflicting a large amount of damage with corpse poison, bleeding and stun. After watching this terrifying transformation, the purple head little Quinn and uncle were stunned, while the purple head could only say the boss transitioning to the next phase. Instantly, the mommy boss launched her attack while screaming, don't even think about escaping. The dragon shielded Lu Fan from incoming attacks, and due to the black dragon bloodline, all the damage received was reduced by 50%, while the healing was increased by 500%, with an additional effect of immunity from all the debuffs. Our guy was chilling under the dragon's protection while the purple head was struggling while dodging the relentless attacks. She can even deflect the incoming attacks as they are immune to the physical damage, which is obvious as it just cursed water. What are you trying to achieve by cutting the water with your knife, Missy? Eventually, she gave up and apologized to little Kin. Kin cut her off while saying she should be the one to apologize because she is the one who insisted on coming to the secret realm. She crashed on the ground and started blaming herself to get everyone trapped in the secret realm. Lu Fan heard Little Kin and asked, Are you all just going to give up at this point? Little Kin replied that she is the only one with magical attacks, but due to her low-level attacks, she can't damage the mommy boss. Uncle G added that the mommy boss is immune to all types of physical damage and they are struggling to just protect themselves. He asked Lu Fan if he had any magic attacks. But Mommy Boss was not interested in their conversation, so to shut them up, she launched a gigantic water hand at our guys while the dragon was still protecting Lu Fan. He replied, I don't, but my dragon has. 
The purple head was surprised and questioned that the level difference is too large. Mommy Boss was still having flashbacks, and while launching the next attack screamed it's not me. It's you guys who are to blame. But Lu Fan was oblivious to what Mommy Boss was saying as we are the only ones who got the flashback, not our protagonist. He started gathering energy in his right fist while replying to Purple Head that the attributes of a dragon can't be compared to the humans, as they are mythical creatures, and you can't compare them to humans. While the mommy zombie was attacking relentlessly, Lu Fan activated the skill dragon inspiration, which increased all his and his dragon's stats. The strength increased from 968 to 1258. Agility increased from 767 to 997. Spirit increased from 959 to 1246, and Endurance increased from 976 to 1268. He commanded Xiao Ye to launch Lava Blaze, and the dragon started breathing fire in an instant. The large-scale fire attack caused major damage to Mommy Boss Zombie, and she started screaming in pain. The whole lake was covered in fire attack with Mommy Zombie in the center of the attack. Little Quinn was speechless to this amount of attack, while the filler guy said the attack completely crushed it. I am happy the guy got a single line of dialogue in this chapter. At least he achieved something. Purple Head was complaining that it was hot, and Uncle G compared the attack to a calamity. In the next moment, the mommy boss's body got destroyed due to large amount of damage. As she was the mommy boss, she left a parting gift for everyone, and activated the will of resentment, which weakened all the corpses in the secret realm. I think she really don't want to let anyone leave the area. With the death of Mommy Boss confirmed a chest was left behind and Lu Fan's level was increased to 5, while the dragon's level was still unknown. The exit portal appeared, and the group was happy that they could go home now. But to their surprise, they have to receive the gift that Mommy Boss left behind. Uncle G and the filler guys heard some noise coming from behind, and when they turned back they saw a bunch of new zombies walking toward them. When Uncle looked above his head, and our waifu dragon was flying toward the zombies while breathing fire from her mouth. Now she was in her human form, which surprised the uncle even more. While little Kin was wondering that, they struggled to kill those zombies, and the waifu dragon was taking care of them effortlessly. Lufan smiled from behind Quinn while saying she would take care of these minions. He also added that they can relax now as the mommy boss is dead, and they can leave the secret realm after distributing the reward. According to their arrangement, Lu Fan would choose the reward first, and he asked if anyone had any objection to him choosing first, to which Little Chin replied, why would they have an objection when he saved their lives? And with that, this chapter comes to an end. I hope that you liked today's video, and if you did, hit that like button, as today's like aim is 1500 likes. Also consider subscribing with the notification bell on to get notified as soon as a new video drops onto the channel. You can also join the channel to support me financially and watch the videos before public release as an added benefit. I'll meet you in the next video until then. Thanks for watching.